Sciatica is referring to pain from the lower nerves in our back that leads to symptoms down our glutes into our leg and into our calf, generally on one side. Now this pain gets worse with lumbar flexion and head flexion on top of it should make it worse again. Similarly, having our toes up on a towel and bending forward should be more painful than if our feet were flat. These movements cause the sciatic nerve to be compressed more so against the back of the pelvis and down the leg. Generally, the more severe the presentation, the further the pain travels down the leg the slump test can be used to see if we're getting sciatic symptoms. Getting into a slump position, keeping the chin tucked and raising the leg up should increase pain down the sciatic nerve. Raising our head up should start to relieve the symptoms of the sciatic nerve, meaning the pain doesn't travel as far down the leg. We can then use a slider exercise, which is similar to the slump, to help as a relieving tool for sciatic pain. We can do these slider exercises by lying on our side or on our back, as seen here. The key is to not turn yourself into a pretzel and make sure that the leg and the head are following each other and not doing opposing movements, meaning that your head is coming towards your leg. That should not happen with this exercise. We can also do a variation uh, with a straight leg raise. So head tilt is in sync with the leg coming up at the same time. And we can use our arms to support our head to make sure that we don't get much neck pain when doing this exercise. Now we know that sciatic pain is quite painful and this can lead to other muscles such as our lumbar spine and our glutes getting a little bit tight. Um, due to the pain stimulus that you're experiencing. Um, getting into some knee rocks from side to side, a sustained lower back stretch as seen here, and considering doing uh, exercises to stretch out our glutes. Uh, it's not stretching the muscle in the sense of making it longer, but just putting a positive stimulus into the muscle to help it to relax. And we're just trying to show the nerves that you know we're able to do these positions without uh, inducing lots of pain it'll help to calm the nervous system down we can promote better lumbar spine extension with getting into some back arches and these cat camel exercises which are great for getting that lower lumbar segments to just move that little bit better in a very non-provocative position